in this video we will learn about a new component it's called price card and this price card uh, it looks something like this as you can see if your app uh, provides some type of service to the users and you have different type of packages uh, that charge uh, differently to the users then you can create this type of packages you can provide the amount over here and the type of packages you can provide the information that they get using this package and you provide the button to enroll or buy the packages so first of all create a react native project and open it on visual studio code i already opened the ios simulator but if you are uh, doing this on a windows machine then you can use the android emulator also and just do npm start to preview the app so first of all uh, before using the pricing card you need to import it from react native elements so let us create the pricing card pricing card the first information will be the color let's say green the color of the button and the title then title let's say free this is our free package then we can provide the price because it's free we need zero dollar now we can provide the information let's say one user can use this service with this package you get basic support and all core features now for the button first of all the title of the button let's say buy we can also provide the icon over here let's provide flight takeoff now if i hit save as you can see this is our uh, pricing card so we have the title free because it's free the amount is zero the information that we put down here will be displayed over here and this is our buy button as you can see nothing is happening because we have not created any event for this let me just create another pricing card this time let's say color will be blue title will be premium price let's say dollar 100 info up to 10 users let's say premium support and all premium features for button we provide the same title will be buy icon right let me just save this 
as you can see so this is our premium package that we charge hundred dollars and it provides premium features so this is how you can create a price card let me just create a function let's say press will be creating an alert successful purchase you have purchased this package now on button press we provide this function over here also now let me just save this and if i click on this one as you can see successful purchase you have purchased this package if i click on this one it also invoke the same function so basically this is how you can create pricing card if uh, you do not uh, use the react native elements then to create this type of component you need to create a custom component including this text provide some stylings and buttons etc so react native elements provide pre-built pricing card if your uh, application charge money from the users and you have different type of packages in that scenario you can use this one so that's it for this video thanks for watching it